These will do for now. Yeah, as long as they come off the walls without causing too much structural damage when Charity's lurching about full of eggnog, it'll be a successful Christmas. <laughs> She's not coming for Christmas dinner. What? No, I've had enough of her, Paddy. I'm not having her driving a train wreck of her life through our special day. Right. She's not ruining it for Eve. She's not ruining it for us. No, no, she is not our nightmare. Not this year. Well, that's Charity who invited to the ceremony. Because I don't get to tell her. The circumstances change. We all need to stay flexible. But you know that already. Look at you. Back here. Like clockwork. So what does Moira make of all of this then? My sister and I have had a reconciliation. Oh really? Since when? Since when I decided she'd make a better friend than an enemy. Ah, oh, little Christmas miracle. My cockles are warmed. Well, that's lucky. Because in these new circumstances, it means you're getting less of a cut. I might be flexible, sweetheart, but I'm certainly not an idiot. I didn't just magic these up here. It took some logistics. Oh, <laughs> what, an old van and a flashlight? I'm not running a charity here. You'll have what you're given. Well, in that case, I'll take my shortfall in the stock there. Uh, uh, hands off. I'm not selling these in pairs. I'm quoting people bulk price. And yet here they still are, getting damp in a freezing cold barn. Well, we could always warm the place up. Got a box of matches, have you? That's not quite what I had in mind. Oh. Do you know what? I'm not really rolling the hay kind of girl, thanks. We just can't seem to synchronise our watches, can we? Could you not have found somewhere else to stash them? I mean, what if Kane finds out? Well, I guess we just need to make sure that Kane doesn't find out then, don't we? You're getting a buzz off this. I know you are. 